Hello everybody, welcome to our English learning YouTube channel. Good morning students. This video is meant for the plus two second year class. I am Raji Ploshnosha. At first I would like to thank you all my viewers for your like and share and subscriptions to my channel. I am very grateful to all of you for your time that you have spent to watch my video. I will try my level best to speak English to English to create the English rich atmosphere so that you are exposed in English vocabulary and will able to speak English later. So now I am going to the tease the topic Exam of Life which was composed by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Uh, before this video I have discussed the stanza one two three four five and six now i am going to discuss the stanza seven eight and nine because before the last class most of the students are absent in my english class so i have decided to make this type of video for the absent students to recover that uh, seven eight and nine stanza uh, this is the seven stanza lives of a great man all remind us we can make our lives sublime and departing leave behind us footprints on the sand of time before going to understand this stanza we are now discuss the stanza sevens difficult words the leaves of great men means mohapurushanka jiboni sublime means famous depart means leave parichaya kariya footprints a print made by the foot sand of time samayara value pare leaves of great men all reminds us means that what reminds us the lives of a great man reminds us the life activities of the great man reminds us that how we can make our lives sublime we can make our life sublime by doing the good works by doing the good deeds noble deeds that uh, remind us the great men of the lives and uh, departing leave behind us footprint on sand of time departing means leave leave behind us footprints on sand of time when our death comes when we depart the world we shall leave behind noble footprints great lessons humble deeds as when our death time approaches when we are ready to depart the world at that time we should leave behind us footprints that related to good noble deeds great lessons and humble deeds for our children on the sand of the time on the flow of the time this is the stanza all about the seven lives of a great man teach us that how we can make our life sublime and we can make our life sublime by doing noble action when we depart the world or when our death approaches we leave behind us the footprints that is noble footprints great lessons and noble deed for our the children for their better life on the flow of the time if i ask the questions how does the lives of a great man teach us then what will be the answer the answer is that the lives of a great man teaches us how we can make our 
lives sublime by doing the good works if i ask you question what shall we leave here when we depart the world then what will be the answer now when we depart the world we shall leave behind us the food friends related to the good works which is also helpful for our children and grandchildren on the flow of the time uh, this is the stanza 8 I am going to read loudly by line by line. The footprints that perhaps another selling over life's solemn man, a forlorn and speak cracked brother, sing shall take heart again. Before going to understand the stanza, I am going to discuss or drill some difficult words that are in the stanza 8 the stanza 8 have some difficult words the sailing journey on water solemn dignified men ocean fallen lonely shipwrecked shipwrecked ship has been broken bhangi jaitwa ship take heart again sahas sanchay kariba Take heart again means Sahas Sanchaya Kariwa. But save your courage again. Footprints that perhaps another selling over life's solemn men. Solemn means solemn means dignified respectable man means ocean mohasagara where our uh, life is our life is like a ocean and we are the seller finally selling the ship if it is wrecked instead of being desperate instead of being unhappy we shall be bold enough brave enough to face the challenges in this stanza suggest that our life is the ocean our life is the ocean where we are sailing and we are the sailor of the oceans finally sailing lonely finally sailing lonely on the ocean at that time if it is wrecked if it is broken if the ship is broken finally we are sailing on the ocean at that time we have not lost our we have not lost our energy and we should brave enough and instead of being desperate or instead of being unhappy we shall be brave enough to face the challenges and uh, we make our heart brave again this stanza suggests that the footprints that are left by our uh, forefathers are uh, great human beings it is our the fall of us we follow their footprints and uh, we should brave enough and we should learn from that footprints how to tackle the challenges of our life our life is like a sea or ocean when we are sailing on the life of sea and while sailing the ship if it is broken then we have not lost our energy we should brave enough instead of being desperate we shall be bold enough to face the new challenges अर्थात एटा बुझिबो गले हमर जीवन हेउची गोटे जल यात्रा परि आमे सेथिरे कोन बसिथिबा गोटे गोटे पथिक एवं नाभिक होइसंती भगवान जदी आमे जल रे यात्रा करू करू डंगाटी अर्थात 
सीपटी बुड़ी जाए भांगी जाए तहाले आमे न हारी यदि आमे हारी जिबा तो बुड़ी जिबा बुड़ी मरी जिबा यदि आमे सेई समय रे न हारी आम हार्ट को अगेन स्ट्रांग करी आमे कोन करबा ब्रेव एनफ हे चैलेंज को फेस करिया पई आमे तर बड़ संचय करि परिबा तहाले आमे आगु को बढी परिबा दिस इज द ऑल अबाउट द स्टांजा 8 इफ आई आस्क द क्वेश्चंस व्हाट सेल वी डू इफ आवर सीप इज ब्रोकन व्हाइल इज सेलिंग द व्हाट विल बी द आंसर नाउ आवर आंसर इज दैट व्हाइल इज सेलिंग द सीप if it is wrecked instead of being unhappy we shall be brave enough to face that uh, challenges then i am going to discuss the stanza 9 let us then be off and doing with a heart for any fat still achieving still pursuing learn to labor and to wait before going to understand the stanza we are going to drill that uh, difficult words within the stanza 9 the stanza 9 the b of and doing b of and doing means get ready for any hardship get ready for doing the hard work b of and doing be ready for do hard work heart for any fat heart for any fat fat means durbhagya re samukhina hebar sahas heart for any fat that the brave for any type of condition or any type of situation pursuing wanting more and more this is the all about the difficult words of the stanza 9 now let's understand the stanza line let us then be off and doing with a heart for any fat still achieving still pursuing learn to labor to what the poet finally says that the life is not the bed of roses life is not for only for the enjoyment and life is uh, not uh, for the empty dreams life is for doing the good works so the poet finally said that the life is not a bed of roses life is for struggle and to achieve sublime things there shall be hurricanes and typhoons at the time of the poega but we shall never be discouraged our life is full of struggle we have to face it there are some challenges we are unable to face it but tried our best to face that problem there shall be hurricanes there shall be typhoons at the time of vega but we shall never be discouraged we shall achieve more and more and shall not to take rest so our aim will be to pursue still higher so we should learn to labor hard and wait for its positive results the so let us be up and doing means let's ready to do the hard work every time gets ready to do the hard work for every time with the heart of any fat what kind of situation is that in our life we are every time ready to face that situation to face that challenges that uh, has to come in our life but still achieving the so what will our be fat and what would we do it is necessary that what is whatever may be our condition or fate but we still try our best to achieve more and more pursuing means wanting more more and more and learn that to labor hard and wait for the positive result so all about the stanza 9 the stanza 9 relates that suggests that the life is for struggle and to achieve sublime things there shall be hurricanes and typhoons at the time of the vega but we shall never be discouraged we shall achieve more and more shall not take a rest our aim will be to pursue still higher and higher we should learn labor and wait for its positive 
result if i ask the questions how can we make our life sublime now what will be the answer now we make our life sublime by doing the good deeds by doing the good noble works if you ask the question how does the poet describe about life in the stanza 9 the life is not the bed of roses life is not only for the empty dreams life is only for the struggle and we should face the whatever may be the challenge that are coming in our life so this is all about the stanza 7 and 8 and 9 so my I request that all the students try your best to do the all the lessons of that topic from 1 to 19 and if you are unable to do that lesson then you will ask me and I will give you answer thank you for your support and thank you for giving so much time to learn the topic stay home and uh, be happy